Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a speed painting of me painting these Lilo and Stitch shoes for a very special friend of mine. Now, in the video, you're going to notice I paint the same part over and over in completely different colors, and I'm just doing work over and over again. There's a reason for that. It's because I started this pair with no design really in mind. I had a couple reference images, but I didn't have a concrete plan in mind when I started to put paint down, and that made me end up doing work a couple different times when I didn't like what I saw. Now, that ended up being both good and bad, so stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll explain why. Here you go. of it let me tell you what happened so when I started this design I didn't have a plan at all normally what I'll do is I'll go on either Photoshop or sketchbook by Autodesk and I will Photoshop an image or some reference images over the shoe so I have a layout in my mind before I start painting this time I said no I'm just gonna look at the references that I've got just have have a bunch of them and just kind of thumb through and come up with something based on that and that ended up kind of hurting me a little bit as far as time goes it hurt me because what happened when I was painting this little yellow sunset is I had a bunch of extra yellow paint left over. And one thing that I've learned to do, and so usually helps out, is to take that extra paint that I've already mixed up and use it somewhere. 
Plus it always brings balance to the design of the shoe if I can use some of those colors that weren't used as much up front towards the back and the whole thing kind of just has, it has better balance as far as the colors go. I was painting it and I decided to basically, I used that yellow to fill in the side panels here. Now what happened was, when I got to these palm trees, I noticed I had to get them onto the next panel. They had to overlap a little bit and I knew that that yellow just wasn't going to work. So what I did is I actually filled it in with another color and I extended that sky a bit and that left this a little bit different looking. The last thing I did was put some of that yellow over these back panels and I ended up not liking the way that looked. So because I didn't have a plan to begin with, it ended up costing me a bunch of extra time having to repaint the same things over and over. But the cool thing about it was, I can tell you for sure based on looking at these now, that if I had photoshopped it and stuck to that plan, they would never have come out like this. So it's both a blessing and a curse. I know that these are a better shoe, like the whole design overall is way better because I tried something new, I got out of my comfort zone, and it's something different than I would have ever done before. But at the same time, it did cause me to redo my work a few times. So it works both ways. Well guys, I hope you found that information useful. Be sure to like this video if you like watching me paint or like Lilo and Stitch. Share this video with some friends and family. It helps the Dano channel grow bigger and better. So do that, do it now, go do it. Hit the share button. And if you guys are new around here, first time watching, welcome. Hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? There's more Disney stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.